to free from lifestyle i had to include this recipe in my family favorites it is my cheesy hunter's chicken potato bake and it has got barbecue sauce in it and the potatoes are lovely and crispy this is cheesy smoky sticky oh my goodness it is an incredible one i really think you're all going to enjoy this and if you do remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more recipes and let me show you how we can make this so i've done a little bit of prep already and i've got my chicken and bacon in here in there is my onion and pepper and these are all diced up so they're fairly equal sizes and in this one i've got my potatoes i've just covered those with water until i'm ready to actually cook those in here we are going to put some chicken stock so i've got one of these really nice what are these ones the nor ones that's how you say it. But yeah, I really like those ones. I think they're really good with the flavour. And we want 200 mils of water. So pop that in. Give that a little stir so that starts to dissolve. And then into my chicken, I'm going to start with some seasoning on the chicken. So we're going to start with some smoked paprika, which I absolutely love. And we're going to put a tablespoon of that onto there so just pop that over the chicken we want some oregano and that's going to be around half a tablespoon pop that on let's season it up with some salt and then also some garlic granules if you don't have these you could use some fresh garlic if you wanted to so we want a tablespoon of those. With plenty of seasoning going on this, making it full of flavor. The onions and the peppers are gonna be cooked together with the bacon and the chicken. So let's put all of that in there. Now I'm preparing this earlier in the day and then I'm gonna cover it with cling film and just let it sit in the fridge like this um, and just let them flavors penetrate. Of course, you don't have to do it in, in advance like I'm doing today. Pop that to one side and I've drained my potatoes here. I'm actually gonna pop these in the air fryer. So I'm gonna use an air fryer basket and we wanna season these potatoes really well. So again, we want smoked paprika and another tablespoon of that. Again, we want some garlic granules to add those in and some more salt as well. I'm gonna get those in the air fryer I think probably sort of maybe 12, 15 minutes. I'll just check them. If you don't have an air fryer, of course you could just pop these into the oven, but it just does help to make it a little bit quicker. Potatoes are now cooked and out of the air fryer. We've got a nice little bit of crunch on those, which is absolutely perfect. This is so quick and easy to make. All you're gonna need to do is put all of your chicken, bacon and peppers with the onions straight in your pan. You just need to give this enough time so that your chicken is cooked all the way through. You now want to add in the tomato puree and also your barbecue sauce of choice. Next thing to add is chicken stock. And lastly, in with the cream, and this is gonna make the sauce really super rich. You can use a dairy-free version, of course. Alpro do a brilliant one that I think is really good. I don't think anyone would ever know that it isn't real cream, but if not, just use some single or even some double would be okay in this. We're just now gonna just let that simmer just for a minute or two. Just reduce that sauce down, make sure the chicken is fully cooked, and then we can add that into a pan to put under the grill and load that up with some cheese. So they've been in the air fryer and they've got lovely crispy bits. So we're just gonna combine that in with the chicken and veggies that we've got in here. It's gonna add a little touch of oregano on the top, just cause it looks pretty. And now for a generous amount of cheese. That is under the grill and we want that to be bubbling and oozing. And that cheese is gonna be melted to perfection and taste so good. Wow, look at this. That has been under the grill. How amazing does that look? I'm feeling like I wanna drizzle a little bit of extra barbecue over the top. So 
Why not? Let's do that. Have a little drizzle like so. Oh yeah, this looks amazing. And I'm gonna serve that with a side of sprouting broccoli that I've just boiled. Let's serve a portion of this. This will feed four people easily. And it was very quick and easy to make, which is what we like. Just gonna add a little bit of broccoli on the side. Okay, dinner is ready. And let me show you exactly what it looks like. And this, I wanted to let you know, is 543 calories a portion. So not too bad on the calories either, considering all the flavor plus the cheese. And that is my cheesy hunter's chicken and potato bake. Thank you so much for watching my recipe. And I really hope that you enjoyed it and you give it a try. Please leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on it. And remember to subscribe so you can watch more of my recipes. And I will hopefully see you next time for another one. Thanks so much for watching. See ya, bye.